Okay, so some organizational tools and methods to look through. Uh, what we can do is to organize our, our layers into groups and what this uh, enables is for um, an entire group to be turned on and off collectively which just makes it handy for uh, folks to work with a, with a document. The other thing that we can do is that when you zoom out beyond a particular scale we can get things to disappear so uh, for example you may not want all of the counties when you get far enough out looking at the United States but as you move in you might want to get there and these show up typically as uh, grayed out over here so this particular layer has been uh, turned off when the scale gets beyond a certain point but then when you zoom in these would turn on and so now you're looking at a much closer area we could also turn the other layers off when we get in there far enough so uh, depending on um, you know here's population by state that would be turned off when we got close enough to look at population by county So adding hyperlinks and images and documents and so on to, them, to your maps are, are handy for those interactive type maps. For example, here, uh, if uh, someone was to hover over a particular area, it would, uh, could potentially click there and, and get to a web page. So as you maybe roll over a particular point, you get a tip, you get um, something that, that pulls up that, that gives you some information about your map. Uh, again, this is sort of like an interactive type of thing, uh, not print version. So in summary, looking at map design, uh, chloropleth maps, uh, color coding of, of the uh, polygons, um, some information about color, uh, how we query data to identify uh, and present only partial areas and then um, grouping things into layers and doing thresholding. Now you're also going to um, want to take a look at this uh, document that is available on the site. Um, it's a document that talks about making maps that people want to look at and there are five design principles that are that are important so uh, read through this document and it should help you get visual contrast legibility uh, and it really details um, you know ground orientation and so on uh, details some things that you're going to want to take into account when you make your presentation so here's you know a poor map versus a good map and so on um, so I won't uh, into this in detail now but I think you can um, work through that and and then include some of these um, in the maps that you're going to create